The SNAP program is important to me because uh, some of my parishioners need nutritional assistance and are dependent upon the SNAP program. The SNAP program is important to me because it not only impacted my family in many ways, but also impacts like many of my friends that I know of. The SNAP program is important to me because working in schools, uh, a lot of our uh, children, that's the only way that they get food is in the schools and also from the um, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Hunger is a huge issue that we all face. The state is cutting back on these programs and concentrating wealth into the hands of multinational corporations at the expense of working people. The reason why I went to the uh, hearing is because I felt it was important for uh, the faith community to represent their concerns about the new regulations that the governor intends to impose. I feel like not a lot of people were informed about this and it's kind of unfair that it's like during the middle of the day on a work day where like many people are working and they can't attend to these things. I decided to attend today's hearing because um, even though I didn't think they were going to listen to us and it's pretty apparent that they have the agenda already set up and they're ready to move forward with it, but uh, we still decided it was important to go up and make our voices heard regardless. The new uh, work requirements are onerous, they're, they're difficult, they're punitive, they are um, beyond the capability of many people to meet. I feel like it's like they're asking too much, they're asking for a lot just for someone to be able to eat. These new work requirements are ridiculous and it's just another thinly veiled attempt to continue the oppression of our communities. When the state of New Mexico is cutting food stamps, it feels like they're taking a belt to our bodies and telling us that if we don't work, we don't eat. I would ask the governor to reconsider these regulations because the greatness of a society rests in how they regard and care for the most vulnerable in our midst. If I could talk to the governor and the human services department, I would remind them that they work for us, even though they'd like to think otherwise. My message is actually to the people in New Mexico. Don't give up. Keep fighting, keep organizing, keep struggling. We can create an economy that works for all of us. And the only way that we're going to do it is to turn towards each other, to build community, to build strong organizations, and build movements for liberation and for justice.